What's up you guys? It is Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. So I just wanted to just quickly thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you for doing that. Um, you guys have requested it, so I'm definitely going to do it. You asked, does your GPA even matter once you get into PA school? Well, it's a tricky like it's a complicated answer it's complicated yes it matters but no it does not matter i'm saying no in the way that we generally think of it so prior to getting into pa school you're like i need to have an extremely high gpa because getting into pa school is very competitive the application process i need to make sure that i have a better gpa than the next applicant and um, i need to make sure that i have more healthcare hours than the next applicant because i want to be the best applicant that i can be so that's the mindset and the concept that you're going through when you're trying to get into pa school but once you're in pa school it's really just about passing are you passing your courses are you passing your tests that's what really matters you you can pass your test, let's say with a C, but end up with a B or an A in a program, you know, like in that particular course, if you pass your other tests with Bs and As. So it's all dependent about like how you do in your course overall in PA school, because what matters is your cumulative GPA. For most PA schools, I'm pretty sure every PA school, but in my school in particular, you're required to carry a 3.0 GPA all throughout your didactic year to complete the program. Um, if you do not have a 3.0 GPA in one of the didactic semesters, you'll be put on academic probation. <laughs> and then from that you have to pull up your GPA to 3.0 or else you'll be kicked out of the program. So that's how they operate. You definitely need to have a 3.0. If you don't, you're gonna get kicked out of the program. But um, do you need to have a 4.0 or 3.7? No, not necessarily. So it's really about you being the best PA student that you can be. So if getting a 4.0 is the best that you can do, then go for it. Strive for the 4.0 if needs be, but don't stress yourself out about it. I know a lot of students and people who stress themselves out about making sure that they get a 4.0 or I wanna get like an A plus or whatever the case may be in a particular class, but it's not necessary. Really all that matters is passing, but you definitely wanna kind of push yourself and um, really challenge yourself to be the best practitioner that you can be. And all of that comes with the knowledge that you're gaining and you're learning. So although that your G, although your GPA may not necessarily matter in the sense that you have to have a 4.0 or a 3.7 to do well in PA school, you definitely need to understand the concepts and the knowledge that you're being taught so that you can be a great practitioner for your future patients. Well said, well spoken. I have spoken to some PAs and PAs with their doctorates that have stated that they only put their PA school GPA on their first resume or to get into their fellowship program. But if you get into a program that has like a fellowship program or a doctoral program that is like a bridge or, you know, you end up with a really good GPA at the end of it, it's not really going to matter. So it, it only matters in that first step, like getting into it but after that they've never put their gpa on anything so stay strong and don't worry about that don't concern yourself with that really just worry about don't worry about anything actually don't worry about anything just do you do well in pa school um, do your best pass your courses and you will do great you will be a great practitioner and um i have the utmost faith in you because not everybody is book smart some people um, are more practical they can do the procedures and um, you know do the diagnosis a lot better than somebody who just has the book smart knowledge so if you're one of those person that's fine just pass okay so thank you guys so much for watching i really really appreciate it if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe join me on this journey and if there is a video that you would like to see me do go ahead and leave that in the comment section below and i will be sure to get to it okay I will see you guys next week. Thanks again. Love ya. Bye.